gorgeous girl. It's lovely when you're standing up here and you see familiar faces in the audience. So, <laughs> last time I saw you, we were both winning I'm just business going awards. You. So I only have five minutes to talk to you today, and I quite like to walk around with this mic. Can I do that? I don't know. I'll see if I'm a brain specialist. Just take it off the stand. So. Can I do that? Right. That. Aha! Yeah. See? Yeah. <laughs> when you ask, you find out. So, I've only got five minutes to tell you quite a lot. So, I'm going to begin with the fact that I'm a mum and I had a child with quite severe learning issues 10 years ago. My son was diagnosed with such severe dyslexia that they said, by the time he's 12, he might just about be able to read his name. Ah, my kid's not happy. What are we going to do? Luckily, I had a degree in health and already had a healthcare practice. So I did what us parents do when we've got an issue. And I researched like a maniac for days and days and days until I found answers. I wanted my son better. I didn't want him growing up unhappy because he really was frankly quite unhappy when he was a little boy with quite severe learning issues. So I found somebody in America who trained me to do this magical thing called neurodevelopment, which I'd never heard of, but which I discovered through the research that I did. So I effectively rewired my son's brain and his dyslexia pretty much went away. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's what I thought too. So as a result of working with my son, my phone began ringing and people from all over the world started saying, whatever you did with your son, can you do it for me? No, I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm right then, how can I not? So I started working with um, families from all over the place. And people were literally flying in from Saudi and France and Scotland. And you know what? Even from Essex, where I lived, um, to, <laughs> to work with me, for me to rewire their brains. So I was working with dyslexia, dyspraxia, dyscalculia, Asperger's, autism, ADHD, mutism, cerebral palsy, and um, I've more recently been working with Alzheimer's as well, effectively. Um, and so that was 10 years ago. My son hasn't been dyslexic for about nine and a half years. And as a result of that, five years ago, I started training other people. My business is called Brain Buzz, one word, three Zs. I have several of my graduates from my courses in the room. One of whom, Sarah, who's <laughs> videoing for me. And we have Claire Evans, who was just doing the announcement on the stage. It's a fantastic thing and it's really simple because the brain learns through movement. So all those funny little movements that babies do in utero and when they're born, you know all that funny little movements that they do? That's all giving the brain feedback. And so when we repeatedly do something, it rewires the brain. Do you remember learning to drive? Do you remember, first of all, it was really difficult. All that things you've got to do with your feet, things you've got to do with your hands, looking outside there and it's really hard, isn't it? and it's really overwhelming. And then one day, it's automatic. That process that you went through when you learned to drive is brain rewiring. So when you repeatedly do something, you rewire your brain. So if we want to correct the nerve inputs to the brain, which results in things like dyslexia, we repeatedly do movements that babies do in utero and for the first year or so of life. And by doing that, we correct nerve inputs to the brain and learning issues where they don't have to be there anymore because the reason for them being there is gone. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Have any of you heard of that before? Stick your hand up if you're familiar with neuroplasticity, brain rewiring. Okay, none of you. <coughs> wow, so you just, <laughs> that just goes to show how cutting edge what I'm doing is. So the potential to rewire our brain for anything is pretty, pretty massive, isn't it? If you're looking at learning issues and all sorts of stuff and the potential to make that go away. I'm really, I'm really keen on it. Um, and so I train people, as I've said, Sarah here. You can come and train with me to learn neurodevelopment. I've also written quite a few books on the subject. My most recent one, I've got it here, is called Eat For Your Brain. Here it is. And I wrote Eat For Your Brain because I was in clinic with um, my Alzheimer's patient with this huge stack of superfood books thinking, I can find the information I want and I couldn't find it. So I wrote the book. It's basically a book of symptoms. So you look up to see what you've got and then you look at the superfood you require, which is all scientifically proven. Because remember, I'm a health scientist. I don't make any of this stuff up. Um, and that's what we do. So Eat For Your Brain, my latest book. You can find them on Amazon um, if you look up Brain Buzz, one word, three Zs. 
And here's our Claire, who's now a brain bug practitioner too. <laughs> we get everywhere. <laughs> um, so that's how I got into neurodevelopment. Is that my five minutes, Claire, or can I talk for more? Yeah? Because believe you me, I can talk for days about this stuff. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed my talk on neurodevelopment. Um, if you have any questions, please come and find me or Sarah or Claire will be milling around. We have left some leaflets on the Elysian stand at the front here um, and some money or vouchers. Um, so because of the, the cutting edge nature of our work, if you guys who listen to my speech today could tell your friends about what we do, then this work will be out there more. Because when you're doing something groundbreaking, it's really good if you can actually get it out to people. So remember us, we're friendly, we're fun, and we're effective, and do get in touch. Thank you, I've been Sue Cook. Thanks, Sue. Okay, come here for a little while.